So I get a phone call from this guy in Florida who says, would you do a pencil portrait? Just pencil. I'm like, really? Pencil kind of sucks. It gets kind of smeary and yeah, he wants a pencil. So what we're going to do now is a pencil portrait. So here's what we gotta start with. We gotta start with the good supplies. Strathmore drawing paper medium. This should work fine. Usually I like to get two ply, I mean, uh, um, two ply kid Strathmore. Uh, this is Strathmore drawing, should be the same. And uh, it should be the highest quality that you can find. Okay, so this should be it right here. Um, then as far as the pencils go, they go by this by they go by um, H, which is hard, or in this case, fine. Uh, this one right here is a Faber Castell, excellent pencil. I'm using different ones, so you guys will have a understanding that they're different brands. Okay, give you an idea of the different brands. Faber Castell fine, which would be probably equivalent to an H, which is enough. Uh, sometimes I'll do you know two H, three H. If you get to a six or seven H. It will be used as a weapon, can be used as a weapon. You probably won't be able to get through airport security with it. Um, B means soft. This is HB, so it's right in the middle between hard and soft. This one right here is a B, so this starts into soft. H sounds good for hard. I don't know why B is soft, who knows? We don't ask. We're gonna skip to a 2B. These right here are your uh, turquoise pencils, which are great pencils. They're made by Barrel, B-E-R-O-L, and they're great pencils. They're a staple, everybody's got them. This is sex. This is it, you guys. This is the Tombow, T-O-M-B-O-W. This would be like the best pencil on the planet. And um, I gotta put it down because it's so hot to the touch. Um, so that's a 2B. This is a 4B right here. And this is a great pencil. And of course, this is your turquoise because it looks like turquoise, see? It's turquoise. Okay, so we got that. Again, the hot pencil, a 5B Tombow. Yeah, you can really have some fun with that. And then this one right here is a Stadler, S-T-A-E-D-T. L-E-R, yes, it's made in Germany, and these are great. This is the Mars Lumograph, and it's a 6B. The other tool that you're gonna need is going to be the kneaded eraser. You're gonna tap on that, you don't rub it, you tap on it, and if you do, then you have to gently guide with your finger because it leaves a little bit of a residue. The other very important tool as we reach into our printer here, we grab just a piece of paper this is what we're going to use as a slip sheet as we go like this. So you lay this down and you draw this way because otherwise you're gonna get the pencil here and you're gonna smear. Okay, let's take a look at who we're going to draw. All right, so we wanna key the drawing. This is the light area here. This is a plane change coming this way and turning, okay? So I'm um, just gonna go ahead like this. now. The way we do these pencil drawings is we don't change the pressure of the hand. What we do is we just go to a softer pencil. Ooh, cool. Okay, can you guys see that? Okay, let's take a look. I'm gonna bring the camera a little closer so my head doesn't get in the way. So let's go ahead and key in the eyes. You really get lost in it. Okay, here we go. Light's coming this way. Okay, this is all in the shadow, but there's still gonna be a little light in there. And uh, it's dark here. You're, it's kind of like you're staining wood. You, know, you put layer after layer on there. See how that works? It's really fun. Let's go a little closer. Okay, now we have a real point. 
This is a 5B. It's real dark. But I haven't changed the pressure on my hand. That's important. I'm going to keep repeating that because you don't want to get that. Uh, you want to be careful not to have the um, the shiny thing where you break down the paper. So this is our light area here. This is our dark area here. Okay, so we're kind of keying the drawing. So let's pull back and take a look. Okay, so she's a lot finer looking. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna really hit these darks. Remember, we cannot break down the tooth of the paper or we're gonna get it to be really shiny. That's when the viewers are like laying on the floor looking up at your work because they can't see it because there's so much glare. So we have to have the, the grain of the paper showing through. We got that. Definitely dark over here. Okay, so that's kind of punched right there. And then we're going to go dark over here. Punches that. And this should bring out the eyes. See? And there we go. A pencil portrait. And we did it in one tape. It just told me that we're getting to the end of the tape. How cool is that? Let's do a little tour and we'll be set. Let's zoom in.